Hello my dear crafters, so here we are, one more video in my craft fair series 2023 and, and I'm on a mission of giving these little composition books from the Dollar Tree some dignity. <laughs> so I have thought to my first video in this series was to make a trio of these and I showed you how to cover them up like this and to coordinate so you could have three for your craft fairs and for your Christmas gifts. So this you already know, but now we're stepping it up a little bit and here's what we're gonna do. We're going to add some elastic to it because it's great to put in your bag and it's even better if it doesn't open in your bag. So it makes it look so much cleaner and professional looking, doesn't it? So let me give you, show you another one. There you are. And I'm going to give you a tutorial on two ways to do that. Because for some of you, if you have this tool that's called the cropper dial, many of us do, and I really, really recommend you get it because I use it all the time in my projects. And if you have it, then you can use these. If you don't, then I'm going still to teach you how to do it without those, okay? So you're actually going to glue, and the only difference really if you look it sideways here, is that it, it just adds a little bump here, but honestly, nobody notices. So I just want to give you an option in case you don't have the cropper die, okay? And I'm going to teach you both ways. We're gonna start with this, and then we're gonna go to this. But doesn't it look much, much better than this? It most certainly does, and it's a great craft fair item, but also a wonderful, and if you add like a mini pen here, it's a wonderful gift that you give to your colleagues and loved ones. So anyway, let's move to the tutorial, and you're going to learn how to do that. So here's what you need. We need two sheets of paper, and again, I'm trying to make sure that if you have the six by six, you'll be able to use it. So that's what you need. You need two sheets of paper, one for the front, one for the back. And the one that I'm using today is Echo Park Santa Claus Lane, okay? I'll have the link below for you in case you want it, but just use whatever you have at hand. And also the elastic, of course. I actually got this one. The Dollar Tree has a lot of these elastics in different colors at the what they call the Crafter's Square. So that's what I'm using, but just go to any sewing and craft store and you'll find it. Online Joann's has a lot of these different colors too. So we're going to use that. Here is what we're gonna do. So you need, again, you re might remember from my first video on how to cover these and make the trios, that Dollar Tree has two different sizes of mini, so pay attention to that. The width is the same, so I'm, we're going to do six, that's the width, because we're going to fold it, and the height, it will depend on how high yours is. Mine is four and a quarter, so if it's the one that I think, I believe the other one is like five and a half, not five, four and a four and a half maybe, or if, whatever it is, just use that height, okay? So just change the height because the length is the same. So this one is four and a quarter, um, four and a quarter height. So there we are, we're going to cut this. So we need this to be six, by four and a quarter, because that's how high it is. We're gonna cut both. Which side should I use, guys? This one or this one? Hmm. Gonna use this one, I like the green. So yeah, so six by four and a quarter. and you still have this left over, you can use it to embellish or in future projects. So now we're done with that. We are going to cover the front. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see better. Yeah. Oh, before I do that, let me, I need to ask you something. So I'm coming up with ideas on how to package uh, tea bags. I already have one that I absolutely love. It's coming up, but 
Actually, you've, you've already seen that one. But I'm come, I am came up with another idea. Remember in my uh, craft hall when I showed you this and I said I have an idea for that? That's from Michael's. It comes in a package like this. So this is what I came up with, but I'm still not sure I'm going to do the video and the tutorial. But if, if many of you say yes, I like it and do the tutorial, I will, because I'm still not sure about it. Here's what I did. I covered it, I embellished, and you have, let me get it out, you, you would package it like this, you put it in a plastic bag because it's food, but here's what it looks like. So I just covered the front, you can cover the back too, but I thought it was not needed, and it's a great gift with a tea bag, it's just one tea bag, and you can also, here's my idea, you can also leave it by the door, like your neighbors, you can, I think you can fit two here, and just hang it at your neighbors, or it's just a, I don't know, it's kind of an ornament, so it looks like an ornament, but it's for tea bags. So if you guys want it, I will do the tutorial, because I'm still not sure. Anyway, so let's get back to this. We're going to add, Right on the edge here, we're going to add, I, I use liquid glue because I think it's faster and it's more practical. And of course, because I need it, it's not coming out. Oh, it is. So it's coming out. Use good quality glue, of course. I use um, art glitter glue. I always have the link below to all the th stuff that I use, okay? So here's how we do this. So we're gonna just place this here. And I usually just tap it to make sure that it's totally aligned here at the bottom because if there is a little bit, see I have I have a little bit going over the paper here and I can just cut it. But I make sure that at least one size is one side is perfect. So we're done with that. We're going to cover C. There's a little sliver here. And this is when I come with my scissors that are not here, so... Oh yeah, I found it. <laughs> I try to get everything I need ready for the video, but sometimes... I, I, what I do is I kind of walk through in my head all the things that I'll need along the way. But sometimes my brain plays a trick. And there you go. So now it's perfect. We're just going to... Do this to break, help break the fiber. I always teach you this, guys, so it doesn't crack the paper, okay? So if you kind of play with it a little bit, it works. So there we are. Going to put some glue right here. And on the edges. So this is the front, and then we're going to add the eyelets to the back. And then I'll teach you without the eyelets because if you don't want to get the crop dye and if you don't have it, it's not going to get in the way. And what I do is I just hold it like this to press it down and it works perfectly. So the edge here is perfect. You can do like five and seven eighths too, so it doesn't, you don't run the risk of going over the edge here. Five and seven eighths works too. So there you are. So we have the front, that's done. We're gonna do the back now. So the back is where we're going to add the eyelet. So we are going to glue it same way. And at the end, we, we add the eyelet, okay? It's not now at the end. So let's do that. Turn around, see again, have a little bit too much here. So, didn't do a great job there, but good enough. Nobody will see that. 
Are you guys good at cutting paper? My hand goes like eh, to the right. So I'm always trying to go ooh <laughs> to compensate it. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. So here we are. Done. Again, I hold it like this so it's flat. And now we're going to add the eyelids, okay? It's really not complicated at all. So I eyeball it usually, but you can use, let me go get my, because um, especially in the beginning, you don't feel like you know how to do this. So I'm going to get my ruler and show you the distance, okay? So I'm back. So here, let me just fix this. I cannot, I cannot. It's really bad. I really, I did a really bad. It's actually better to just glue it and then cut it. I should have done that. So this is the front, this is the back, and that's where the elastic goes. So how much elastic do you need? So it will depend. I'm just going to show you because it will depend on the size of your... So just leave like one inch here. Go around. You can go tight like this, not pulling. Don't pull it, okay? But just tight enough because you do need the tension. And the same thing here, about an inch. So you're going to, so we're going to, I'm going to measure because I, I eyeball it, but I don't want you guys, especially in the beginning to do it. So the distance here, good. the good distance here is one inch, okay? One inch here, one inch here, it's perfect. So you mark it with your pencil. One inch would be right here. And I eyeballed it and I got it perfectly. Yeah, so one inch and one inch. So let's do the distance first. So you know that it should be here. And one inch right there. So it's going to be, so I just put an X. So just put a little X here that you'll not be able to see, but you don't need to. So we get the crop and dial. So it has two sides. One is a big hole and one is the small. We're going to make this small because we're going to use a small eyelet, okay? I'm going to put this here. I'm going to choose which one. So we're going to make a hole. I make it from the back like this. So use the small. And you just put it, let me see. Now I can, oh, so I make the hole here. It's okay, I'm just gonna make it from the inside because I can't see it otherwise. So I just place it, let me sh show you sideways so you can see what's happening, okay? There you go. Where is it? Right there. You can actually m measure here and put like one inch of a, dis of a distance. I'm not gonna do that, but Okay, where is, oh there, there you go. I actually did not need to do that to mark because the crocodile gives you that power. All you need to do here, this is centimeters, this is one, that's exactly one inch. So you can just go all the way down. So let's see. So if I go all the way here, yep. Yeah. See if you go all the way to the end, that's exactly where it, that's way more than one inch, sorry. Okay, so there you go. I have two holes, one here, one here. And here's what we're gonna do. So you need to have a hole. And what I do, I've tried using like a poking tool through the elastic, but the best way that really worked for me was by just using a very small scissor and Scissors and getting, oh, these scissors, I should not use anything with glue with it, but I forget sometimes. So anyway, just make a very tiny slit. There you go. That's what I do. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Kind of fold it, make a little tiny slit. And because with a poking, uh, poking tool, it makes a round hole. And let's choose which one do I want. I'm going to use the gold. One, two. So this is the small eyelet. And we're going to 
find the hole where the hole is and it's right here and we're just gonna push it through like that and you are going to poke it through and it goes on the back like this and we're going to cut the extra elastic so here's what you do I poked it through and now we're going to press it and it's on the back okay I was doing inside and I thought mm, this doesn't look right so we're going to use my crumper dial and just press it there you go so we have it perfectly there and what I do is this is too much this is enough so there you go and now we're going to wrap it around we're gonna go to the other side find the hole where's your hole where's the hole there you go it's important to have some tension it doesn't have to be that much so you go around and you pull it through put it through here do the same I'm going to press it down I love this tool I use it a lot there you go again too much I think it was just the position of the hole so this is the front the back you have the elastic here you have it there and then we're just going to pull it to the to the front so that's that I'm just gonna decorate it now because I know me I always add something else so I already have this separated because I thought it would look great and it does so there you go we have our beautiful composition book it's a little bit tight because I did make a mistake I just poked the holes way too far too far oh no it's good it's all good there you go so we have with the eyelets now let me show you how to do this without the eyelets in case we don't have the cropped eye okay so I have already done the front because you don't need to see that again just to make it a little faster for you guys I already have cut the elastic I know that that's the paper I need for the back I'm just gonna cut it so six by four and a quarter the front is done I've already decorated it we're gonna do the back so for the back I'm going to get I can see that I do not have my double-sided tape let me go get it here it is I keep, I keep forgetting things for this video honestly some videos are like that and some videos you make mistakes and mistakes and mistakes and so okay so so good we're going to glue the back so the back is not so same thing we're going to have the elastic go from the back to the front so here's where you need to put the elastic I should have put the liquid glue later but the best way do not use liquid glue we are going to use double-sided adhesive okay and of course use a good quality one because that's what holds the elastic if you use I tried every kind of glue possible if you use liquid glue it just doesn't work so we're going to peel it off and we're going to position it right here is good I think a little bit closer so right there press it down we're gonna come around it doesn't matter if it's too much but make it tight there you go press it down see it holds the elastic perfectly and we're going to make another just add another layer of elastic 
because we want it to be very, very secure, okay? You don't want it to come off because you're going to be pulling it and pulling it and pulling it over and over again. So there you go. Use your bone folder to press it down really hard and make sure that it's all tight. So there we go. Peel it off again. And now we're going to add the paper. And this is when you add the liquid glue, okay? I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done that first because it dries. But that's okay. We're just going to add some more here. And I always add a little bit more where the elastic is. And move this all this mess around. So there you go. Going to place that. There you go. And again, use your bone folder. What I do is I turn it around and I press it really, really hard to make sure, especially on the edges here where you know that that's where the elastic is, so you don't have that open space on the sides. It's really easy to do. It's not complicated at all. You know me, guys, I'm on a mission to give you uncomplicated things and with the least amount of tools possible. Uh, so work the paper so it doesn't crack. And now here's what you need to do. This paper needs to go under the elastic because that's how you're gonna glue it. So just pull it through like this. And what I do is I just take it off because you're going to glue it now. Remember to do that, otherwise you're going to glue over the elastic. And we most certainly do not want to do that. So there you go. We are done. So we're going to do this. Press it on the sides here to make sure that we don't have like a hole on the sides. Okay, because we're going to have a bump. That's... You can't avoid that because you have the elastic, but press it really hard. And I'm going to take this extra. I just can't live with it, guys. I just cannot. There you go. Perfect. So see, and that's what I say, press really hard here on, on the edges. Put a lot of glue there so you don't have this sticking out. And how cool is this? So you have your beautiful composition book, your mini, with the eyelets, without the eyelets. I like both, honestly, and I think I still need to trim this off a little more. You can't trim too much because you run the risk of it coming off, I guess. I don't know, it never happened, but you don't want to take the risk. So there you go. We go from a very simple compos mini composition book from the Dollar Tree to this beautiful thing with the elastic, okay? So I hope you enjoyed it. And yes, I will see you next and my series continues. Thank you so much guys and you have a great day. And don't forget to let me know, do you want this tutorial or not, okay? If I have enough yeses, it will happen. <laughs> Thank you so much, you have a great day.